Fieldsworth is a guidance pattern that uses a combination of both spiral guidance and straight AB or curved guidance lines. This is typically used when an operator requires to work his fields with two or three outer circuits and then work the remainder with a straight or curved guidance line. To best use the field pattern, you will need a Swath Recorder window as well as a Swath Manage User Defined window on your run screen. To begin recording your field swath, in the swath recorder window, select Field, then press Start. If there is an existing field boundary, you do have the option to create your field pattern based off of this boundary. This option will create a guidance line that replicates the boundary of the field, placing a swath half of the implement width in. If there is no field boundary, or your boundary does not follow the desired path, you can manually drive the outer circuits and record the pattern. You can use the pause button at any time to stop recording and pressing resume will snap a straight line between these two points. Pressing the stop button will automatically close the field pattern by creating a straight line segment between where the current vehicle position and the beginning of the swath started. Once the outer perimeter has been drawn, the system will automatically create an AB line based off the longest segment. Both the B and A points can be repositioned by simply selecting the active point and touching the boundary to move to that location. You can also move the points along the boundary clockwise or anti-clockwise using the two arrows. The current heading of the AB line is displayed here. You can change the number of outer headland circuits. You can also define on whether you want to use a straight default guidance line or a curved line. You also have the ability to select from previous recorded lines. Once your field pattern is created, use the Swath Manager window to change the active guidance line between the interior and the outer pattern. The outer pattern can be generated in two forms. First is round headlands, second is square headland. At any point the user can use the edit button to change the desired infill swath or the number of outer headland circuits. If the field has no current outer boundary, you can use the boundary option to create a field boundary based off the field pattern. The field pattern is based off the current implement width, and if a new implement width is created, a new field pattern will need to be made. Creating a field boundary based off the field pattern allows a user to create any subsequent field patterns by simply using Create from Boundary.